Good morning, you guys. Today is day 80. It is April 22nd, 2023. Let's get started with our walk and talk. Okay, so first, let's start out with my birthday shout out for today. As you guys know, today is my husband's birthday. So happy birthday to my husband. I love you very much. And you guys are probably going to hear him out in the back uh, doing some work. Okay, so today is a pretty nice day. And he just decided to get out there and take care of some stuff. Okay, so also, like I said, happy birthday to everyone else that has a birthday in April. And as you know, yesterday was our anniversary, so happy anniversary to everyone, including us. It was our 10 year. Okay, so before I tell you guys about my dream that I had this morning, I am going to tell you guys about what happened with my phone. So I always look at my phone to see if I need to erase videos, because if you have too many videos on your Z Fold 2, then you will only be able to record for a certain amount of time. And so you'll have a second clock that will tell you that you only have, let's say, seven or eight minutes to record. And I think I was telling you guys about two or three weeks ago that I discovered that's because I had too many videos saved on my phone. So I needed to start erasing them more often. Okay, so I went into my camera app and I saw these pictures. And I thought, I didn't take these. What are they and uh, how many of them are there? Because I kept scrolling and it was a lot. So I counted, you guys. There was 48 of the same exact picture in my phone. And I couldn't tell what it was. I was like, is that a picture of an eye of close? And I thought, no, no, I don't think so. So then I showed it to my husband and he was saying, that looks like that's something close up of a picture of something that's made out of material. So we were thinking maybe the arm of our recliners. And he was like, no, I don't think that's it. So we have no idea what the picture is. Now, the strange thing about it is, is that they did not show up until this morning. But I checked the details and all of those pictures, the same exact picture, was taken at about 4.40 p.m. yesterday. And I believe we had already got back home uh, from his job. And um, it was really strange because I still hadn't completely uploaded my video. So my video upload was only at about 3% because I didn't want to connect to the Wi-Fi where I was. So, the first thing that we did when I got home, after I think I got cleaned up first, was upload the video, right? So of course, I would check it from time to time if I didn't want to walk over to where my computer was to see the percentage of how much was left before it would finally upload. So I had been looking at my phone all day yesterday, on and off, even around that time. And I did not take those pictures. Now the other eerie thing is, why did the pictures show up this morning when the details said that they were taken yesterday, which was the 21st? Yes, that's the other thing. They didn't show up. The last thing I did was make a thumbnail for my video. I edited my video to add what day it was, and then I started to upload. I didn't take any other pictures, no other video after that. So that's the big mystery. Why didn't those pictures show up yesterday? What were they a picture of? And why did they show up this morning? Okay, so I thought that was kind of odd. Um, I didn't know that I was gonna have that to talk about, but I mean, it was strange and it was there. So yeah, that was really, really weird. So I think um, what I'm going to do is because I did save one of them in my mind book is I'll probably just erase them and see if it happens again. Okay, so if it happens the same way, the pictures of whatever that is will be taken today 
and they won't show up until tomorrow morning. So yes, the first thing that I will try to make sure that I remember to do tomorrow is to let you guys know if those same pictures showed up back in my phone. I don't know, you guys, was it hacked or was it something else? Um, I can say that there was a music website that I went to. I wanted to download a song and I shouldn't have accepted that it wanted to give me notifications. And so I blocked the notifications and then I was trying to figure out how to erase that website like off my phone. So I don't know. Maybe it got hacked from that. But you guys, that was about two days ago, maybe three. So did someone access my phone and take pictures? And if they did, it looks like, I don't know, it was laying down or something, but that's weird. The color of the picture itself, um, our chairs are black. So if anything, even if it was at the edge, it should have been black. There should have been really nothing in the picture. There shouldn't have been any edging. There's no edging on the arm of our chairs. That's the other thing. So I have no clue what that was a picture of. Um, like I said, my husband looked at it, he tried to blow it up and we couldn't tell, but there are 48 of them. So yes, um, and that raises a concern because if my phone's been hacked, then are there gonna be videos? What's gonna happen? Are there gonna be more pictures? Now, the upside is I'll see them. So let's see what happens over the next course period of about two to three days. And I'll let you guys know, I'll keep you guys updated. You guys also know that um, I told you guys paranormal things happen around me all the time. It doesn't matter where I'm at. So that could be something else. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So for my dream. All right. This is strange because usually if my dream switches to a different dream, the location changes, but not this time. Okay. So. The first thing was, my husband and I lived in a city. And I don't know what city it was, I couldn't tell. And my uh, niece, well one of my nieces, I have more than one niece. One of my nieces had came to visit us. The weird thing about it is though, is that you guys, right now, like she's way older than what she was in the dream. So in the dream, she was like maybe five or six years old. And um, very, very strange. So, um, and I know this because there was, and I don't know, maybe I had part of this dream because I looked at a picture within the past month of when she was younger and her hair was combed and like twisties, the ponytails. And um, I've never seen her with this jacket though. She had a burgundy jacket and I can't remember if it was made like out of cotton or material versus like a brain material. So I just remember that the jacket was burgundy. And I've never seen her with that color jacket when she was younger. And um, we decided to take her on a walk to show her the city. The problem is that that day it had decided to rain. Yes, it was coming down, you guys. I don't even know why we were out there. And there was at least 100 people walking. Some people had umbrellas, some people didn't. Some people had on not rain jackets like the ones that go over your shoulder, but the like windbreaker jackets and stuff like that. I remember this one, it was like a pretty blue. Um, it's so funny, talking to one of our relatives, there's a blue that she likes called cobalt. And so if it was something like that, it wasn't dark. It was very bright, very noticeable. And I kept kind of seeing that person. Um, it was just tons and tons of people outside. Well, I had a jacket. And no, I don't have this jacket in real life, but in my dream I did. And it was customized. And I don't think it was back from when I was in high school. I think that I went and got this jacket customized. So I can describe it. That's the crazy thing about this, is that I remember this dream very vividly as if I have a jacket like this in my closet and I don't. Okay, so at the top, it was yellow. Not that bright neon yellow, but just like a regular yellow. And the sleeves were yellow, the hood was yellow. And then starting from underneath your chest going down, it meant like a little angle, like a triangle, and all of that was white. On the back of the jacket, 
I want to say the whole thing was yellow as well, but I think half of it was yellow, the top half and the bottom half might have been black, but I don't know. I can't remember. What I do remember is that, and I don't know how I knew this because I don't think I ever saw the back of this jacket, but I knew that it had the name of the high school that I went to written in cursive in black in big letters, and then it was outlined in white. It was really, really nice. And um, my husband had given it to my niece to wear outside. And so it was, I think, yes, it was on the outside. It was the outer layer that she was wearing. And it was just regular material like my shirt that I'm wearing right now, uh, or a cotton polyester blend or something like that. Um, I don't know what material it was, but I can tell you, I call it like sweater material, but it was not meant for the rain. And so I remember I got upset. And so I told my husband, I said, why would you have her wear my jacket? And I don't know if I, I didn't call it a letterman's jacket, but I didn't say like customized jacket, but I think I just called it by like the name of the high school. And I told him, I said, it's not meant for the rain. And so her burgundy jacket underneath is going to stain the inside of my jacket, the sleeves, everything, right? And he was like, no, it'll be fine. And so I was like, no, it won't. You guys, it was raining so much to where somehow, some way you could see her jacket like through mine. And I was like, see, you can even see it. You're not supposed to be able to see the under layer of, of whatever you're wearing, if you're wearing, you know, a jacket or a coat or something like that, right? And you can see the fact that her jacket is burning me, so it is going to stain. And I was upset. I was just like, like, why would you do that, right? So we were going back and forth, and um, it was crazy. So I was, I was mad. I was just like, okay, whatever. I'm not going to even keep arguing with him, right? And um, there was a station. It was like a I want to say mainly a train station. I don't know if it had a subway underground. I just know that there was a train or trains inside the station. It was huge. And um, I want to say that there were stairs, but there weren't any. So the whole, I guess you can even really call it a sidewalk, or we'll say the sidewalk was even with the part that you had to walk over to to go to the doors. And um, I remember it had these black bars that came down and um, crossed each other as well. And I guess it was supposed to be some type of, I don't know what you call that, like contemporary art or maybe, what's the other word, like geometric or something like that, like a cross between the two. Um, there's a specific name for that type of art, I can't think of it, but um, yeah, I can't think of the name. I just know that it was there. And it went all the way from the top of the building down and the building wasn't completely, I would say, level at the top. So some parts of it were taller than the others, so it looked like it had maybe towers, but like the towers were all a part of the building. And so that was right from the front, like you couldn't miss it. And I remember there being like this, I want to say like a red half circle or something on the building itself. And um, it was, you know, like that brown slash gray color, kind of odd. Um, so it was dark. Whatever color it was, it was dark. Painted. And there was tons, tons of people. I said about 100. There could have been about 200 people. And I think that part of what we were supposed to do was to take her to the train station so that my sister could come pick her up. And um, there was one, one lady that walked past me that looked like my sister. But it wasn't her. Like somehow I knew it wasn't her. And so I don't even know if my sister ever came and picked her up. Um, all I remember is seeing my niece stand there, being, like I said, five or six years old, wearing those two jackets and um, her hairstyle. And it was crazy, because like I said, she's way older now. So it didn't even really like cut from that area, like I said. This is one of the first times I've had a dream where, 
no matter who was in the dream, it was located in the same exact place. Okay, so the next one, same place, still outside, outside this huge train station. And it was pushed back off the street some, like it wasn't close. Okay, you had to walk away to get to the front doors. And so uh, still maybe the same people walking around. And I had a kitten. The kitten was a tabby cat. And uh, it was really cute. Um, I want to say it was a little boy cat. So I was with, I think, two or three people. And um, I couldn't really see like who it was. Like one kind of walked past me or was like to the side. And so I don't know. I don't know if my husband was still in this part of the dream or if they had like moved on to like the next scene. Like I said, just the same exact location. And so there was this big red wall. And the reason why I say it was big, even though it wasn't like a wall on a building, is because it was about maybe four feet tall. And it was maybe about maybe three to four feet wide. And it had a hole in it. And so uh, my kitten, or maybe I'll say our, because like I said, I don't know if my husband was in this part of the dream. Um, I do remember there was a friend that I was with, but my kitten decided to go to this hole, go to the top of it, right? And to just keep going in and out of the hole. And it was funny. And so I was like, what is it doing? And uh, I thought, oh, I'm going to record this. So in my dream, I had a YouTube channel. And um, I thought, okay, so I'm going to get my phone out. Well, me and electronics don't mix at all. Um, I'm that person where if the TV said have like an antenna, I could walk by and the reception would go back. Or I could like move my arms and pretty much bring back the reception of your TV. It was weird. When I was younger, I was like 10 or 11 years old. And um, still, I think I was telling you guys, like when we stayed in that townhouse um, in Bakersfield, that <laughs> my husband would be getting ready to stream a movie. And I would be upstairs. And it would be fine. It would be at like 23, 25%. I would come downstairs and it would drop down to like 3%. And just take longer, uh, longer to load. And so I would ask him, uh, do you want me to go back upstairs? He was like, no, 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 it's okay. It'll load. It's just, just going to take longer. Plus, that's how electronics get around you. So, you know, I'm used to it. And we even did a test. I went back up the stairs and it sped up. And I came back downstairs and did the same thing. And then I even went halfway up the stairs and it sped up. When I came back downstairs, by the time I was behind the couch, it literally it was back down to like 2%, right? So I don't even remember if we had a chance to watch that movie because of the... Um, guess the streaming time. I can't remember what you call that when it's loading. So yeah, it is, it's kind of weird. But anyway, so my phone in my dream was, was tripping, right? It just, it didn't want to get to the video part. I was trying to click the camera app and some app popped up. And with this app, I couldn't hit the back button of my phone. I couldn't hit the home screen button. I couldn't hit anything. The app just kind of like took over. And I don't know if it was some game I played or something like that. I don't usually play games on my phone. But it just kept running. And the cat, you know, the kitten's still doing this, right? And I'm like, I'm going to miss it. And so um, I was talking to whoever I was with. And I was like, but my phone. I just wanted to go to the camera app so I can record my kitten doing this, right? And so finally, of course... Once I got the app to open up for the camera app, my kid stopped. And so I was kind of frustrated. And I told the kid, and I was like, do it again, do it again. And uh, the kid wouldn't do it. And I just looked at the kid like, are you serious? Um, now, like it wanted to stop. And so it was, I would say it only did it about four or five times, but it was weird, it was like time slowed down. And then everything got back to like a normal speed of time by the time I got my phone to work, it was weird. So it didn't move in slow, slow motion, the dream, but it just kind of felt like that a little bit. And uh, so I didn't get the footage. And I was like, oh, that would have been a good short. So, and I didn't think I thought about the word short, I think that in my dream, it was just gonna be like a really quick video. So, that didn't happen. Now, 
still in the same location. Whoever was with me, the three or four people, they weren't there. Instead, now, there was about seven or eight people that were with me. And they were all my friends. And we were looking for one of our friends. And I remember looking over, there's the building for the train station and everything like that. And I don't know if I realized in my dream that I was still in the same location. Usually I'm pretty aware of my dreams. And so maybe I paid attention to it, but I wasn't really focused because we were trying to find her. We weren't yelling her name. We were calling her on the phone, on her cell phone. And so um, all of the friends that were with me, they were all women. I do remember. Um, I don't think that there was like anyone showed up. Okay, so none of my guy friends. So um, we were calling, 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 all of us. And we couldn't get a hold of her. And I do remember that one of my friends, I don't know why, you know how like in a movie where it keeps kind of turning back to that person? So you start to think, you get a little suspicious, right? Like, oh, like if there was a crime to be solved, like that's the person that did it. Or, oh no, what's gonna happen to that person, right? So I didn't get any eerie feelings, any like scary feelings, but it kept going back to just this one friend. Like, I guess maybe I kept turning to look that way and she was looking so her back was kind of always to me. But I remember that she had braids and they were like the color of honey, but like a little bit darker. So maybe closer to brown. And they were micro braids. Um, I remember that she was very slender and small head, like I said, but her body was proportioned though. And um, I don't know why it kept going back to that. Like I said, it could have simply been because I was looking for my friend like in that direction and we were all trying to look at different directions. But for some reason, she was in that part the most. And I can't remember what she was wearing, I just remember her braids. And that they were cute, and they were long. They were maybe two or three inches past the middle of her back. So I don't know what significance she had in my dream. And I never really saw her full face because like I said, she was always turned away from me looking for a friend. So um, the other thing was, was that apparently my friend and I that we were looking for had had an argument. And um, I don't even know what the argument was about. I can't remember. Um, I know she didn't stay with me. So I think in my dream, I remember what the dream was, not the dream, but what the argument was about. But so far as me knowing, like that part of the dream didn't play. So that's kind of strange that I knew what the argument was in my dream. But while I was, like I said, for me, when I dream sometimes it's like I'm watching TV. So while I was like, basically, I guess, watching my dream or having my dream, I had no clue what we had argued about. And I just had like a feeling from the fact that I knew we had argued. And so finally, she answers the phone. And her voice was kind of low. And she said my name. She said, Lorraine. And I was like, yeah. She was just crying. And I was like, what's wrong? What happened? And so, and, and where are you? So she told me that she was at one of the apartments of one of, of the friends that was looking for her. Like one of her, I don't know if it was like older apartments. And um, I was like, okay. And I pictured the apartment complex, just that building of where the apartment was. I remember the apartment was upstairs. I remember that even if the walls were stuck up, they were flat and it was like a cross between like a black and a gray color for the paint kind of, or maybe a little bit closer to a darker gray. And it had stone stairs. It had a black stairwell. And so I could picture the apartments I remember the street name, but I didn't remember the, the address, like the number, part of the address. And so she was still crying. And she was telling me that um, one guy after the other just kept coming to this apartment. And um, from the fact that she was crying, I didn't have to have her tell me the rest. I was like, okay. I was like, you want or, um, yeah, let me think. Yes, I asked her, do you want me to come get her? Or to come get you? And, I, and she said yes. And I said, okay. 
And I think I also offered for her to uh, stay with me. I said, and stay with me. And she, she had said yes. Now the thing was, I thought, okay, now there's gonna be like four people, including me in my apartment. Then I thought, I wonder what the landlord's gonna say. And I was like, thinking, okay, well, she'll be cool with it. And it was so funny because the landlord that I started the picture wouldn't have. But I guess maybe in dreams she would have been. So I guess her personality was different than dreams. So um, then I thought, well, no, it'll just be me and her, so it'll just be the two of us. So yeah, she'll be cool with it. And by this time, the friend that had the apartment had showed up. And so I had turned toward her. And um, while I was looking up, I don't, I don't know why I didn't just ask her, hey, what was your old address? I don't remember. I don't know why I didn't ask her that. I knew I was getting ready to go to the contacts because in the contacts, I don't think I had put her new address in yet. So I knew that the old address of this apartment was in my contacts. And um, I was trying to spell the name of the street. And it was like Pagilio or something like that, or Pagilio. That's where I remember. It either started with an H or an R, and it was O-G-O-L-I-O. That's what I remember typing into the phone. So I think it was like Rogelio. And so um, my friend is still on the phone, and I was trying to be careful because I didn't want it to hang up, but I could, somehow I could tell that her phone wasn't going to die, that she still had power to her phone. I think because we knew she kept her phone charged up. So I wasn't worried about that, but I was worried about, like I said, my phone's always messed up, do something weird. And so I didn't want it to hang up on her because I knew she was by herself. So I turned them to the friend and I asked her, I said, hey, do you still have that apartment on, and I didn't say the name of the street, but I described it, I think. And so I won't say she hesitated, but she, she didn't say anything at first. And then I think she started off to say, Yes, but something, right? And I remember, I think, being annoyed, like, you would know if you still have this apartment. And so, um, for some reason, by the time, I'll jump to when I woke up really quick and then go back into the dream. I was thinking, but this was like two or three apartments ago. She was in a completely new apartment. She might even be in a house. And so I don't know how I knew that outside of my dream, but I did. So I don't know. I don't think I realized that in the dream, but somehow I knew outside my dream. That, that's weird, right? Okay, so back to the dream. So I can't remember what she said, but she was taking too long to answer. She was making me frustrated. And in my dream, I was thinking, you would know. And I think for a split second, I thought, well, she lives in a new place. I'm thinking, but still, you know, you don't forget the places you live, right? So I don't think I was suspicious of her or anything like that. And thinking about when I woke up, thinking about how I knew that she had two or three apartments um, afterwards, right where she stayed at was not where our friend was. And so I was thinking while I was awake, like maybe I shouldn't have gotten frustrated with her because I mean, do you remember the addresses of your apartments? Like, could you just sit here and just like blur them out? You could tell people the street names and I thought, okay, well that's true, right? But I didn't think about that in the dream because I was worried about a friend. And so like I said, so back to the dream. So I think I just kept talking to her. And I don't know why I didn't ask the friend that was on the phone that we were looking for, why I didn't ask her for the address. Because I would think she would know the address, right? So I didn't think to do that. Um, but I did notice was that since everyone else was calling her, wasn't getting a hold of her. And what was weird was while we weren't getting a hold of her, I don't think I was just hearing the fact that like it would go to voicemail or um, it would ring a couple of times and I don't know, hang up or something like that, but I could hear if it did it on one of their other phones. Okay, so all of that has stopped or started to stop by the time I answered. So I think they finally, or by the time she answered, so I think all the friends realized that I had got a hold of her. And, um, we must have been really good friends because out of all the people's phone calls she answered, she answered mine, even though we had gotten to an argument. So I knew we were close, um, like I said, while I was having the dream. And so I just kept talking to her and then I think 
a couple of the friends walked up and they were trying to help me pull up by the name of the street to get the contact to pull up to see the whole address. And one of them pushed, and I said, no, 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 don't. And one of them pushed something and then either it went quiet because it hung up or maybe she just wasn't talking. But in my dream, I thought it hung up on her. And I was like, oh my gosh. And so it was really strange. We actually never got over there to pick her up. And I'm guessing maybe because I woke up, I think is what happened. So yeah, you guys, it was a really strange dream. Now, the thing is, okay, so the friend that we were looking for, I would have to say that she was someone that I know in real life. She just looked a little different. Okay, so I think I was aware of that. Like, I don't know, maybe she had lost some weight. And she wasn't that big to begin with. It was just, she was skinnier in the dream than she was in person, um, in real life. And I haven't seen her in years. Okay, and then the one that owned the uh, apartment prior, however many apartments ago, which I really didn't think about the fact that would have been years and years ago, right? Also, um, for some reason, I felt like she was someone that I knew as well. Someone that I had met, we were friends, we hung out, and then we don't hang out anymore, so I can't even tell you. But I think those two I knew, um, like in real life before. And so I thought that was kind of weird. And after I woke up, I was thinking why the friend with the braids stood out so much. And why did she never really end up turning completely toward me where we were like face to face? And like I said, it could have been something because she was looking. We were all looking around. It was a big area. Okay, so the train station... I want to say, I don't remember there being a street. I don't think that you had to cross. I could be wrong, but for some reason, I remember in like a park in the same parking lot or in the same lot. Okay, so um, I don't know. I think in the dream with one with my niece, there might have been a street, but I don't think so. I think it was all connected, one big area. And so I remember some trees and stuff like that by the time it got to this part of the dream. So it was weird because it was, like I said, the exact same location. It was just like the longer I was dreaming, the um, more I saw of the area. And um, yeah, it was weird. So I have no clue. Um, what I did forget to do was to look up the name of the street, like on YouTube or just to do a Google search to see if that's even a street. Okay, so that's going to be something that I think after the walk, I'm going to go do. And then tomorrow, I will tell you guys if it actually is a street. Okay, so that would be an interesting thing. I really, really wish that I, I had done that. Um, the idea I had for yesterday of what I was going to do, if I had my laptop out here, and had like the wireless mouse, I would probably just try and look it up before we got to the 40 minutes of this walk and talk. But yes, okay, so that's the mystery, you guys. I really don't know why. I honestly didn't look it up. For some reason, I was going to, when I forgot to do my lemon and my salt too, so I forgot a couple things this morning before this walk. I think my main concern was to remember the dream and then to add in the fact about the pictures because that was just random. Like, I wasn't even expecting that when I unlocked my phone and went into my, um, how do you say that, my photo gallery. And so, I think maybe me adding that in just is the reason why I kind of forgot to do the other two things, even though I kept reminding myself. And then plus, um, the treadmill, we hadn't warmed it up the first time for an hour. And uh, like I said, it's getting to the point where it has to warm up almost for two hours, and it auto shuts off after an hour. So we hadn't even warmed it up yet. And I had come to the garage door 
And the minute I opened the garage door, even though this door was closed, I could hear it still, that high pitch, like squeak. And so I was like, oh, it's not even ready yet. And I wasn't even dressed for the walk. I was in pajamas too. So um, I think just those couple of things. So yeah, I don't know. Um, this time I think it was like, oh, your niece was that age because within the past month you looked at a picture of all you guys being younger, a picture of my sister and her flash. Like I said, when they were younger and um, she was only a little bit older than what she was in the picture. So maybe that popped up for that reason. And then plus when I went to visit home um, in Bay, I saw them. So maybe it was a combination of that. And then the landlord lady, uh, maybe it was how I kind of wish she was in real life. Um, because she did something she wasn't supposed to do. And um, yeah, I won't go into that story, but yeah, so maybe, I don't know. Maybe I, I just thought that I wish she was like a little different on her personality, and so maybe the that's why she was nicer. I don't know. Um, and then the friend with the braids, I have no clue because I couldn't see her face completely. I couldn't tell you if she was someone that I knew. And I did think of one friend that I do have that I haven't talked to in years and years and years. And I remember her hair kind of being like that, but not really. So I thought, okay, no, I don't think that was her because none of the names um, got said of any of my friends that were in the last part of my dream. And so I don't know why I kept noticing her braids. Um, maybe just because they were small, they're micro braids, and I little take a long time to do. And then the location, not a clue. The only thing that came remotely close to the location was Rome. But in a dream, and I could be wrong, it looked like we were somewhere in the US. So I have no clue why that building was there and um, why it specifically was a train station. I, I don't know. Um, and I kind of knew what the trains looked like inside, even though we never went to the building. Like I said, I think we were supposed to like meet my sister outside or something. I don't know. And it just so happens that it rained that day. So, um, well, obviously, current husband married to him right now. So that makes sense that he being a dream. And, um, so, yeah, but if I come up with anything else, because you know how like, you have a dream and you're like, oh, I wonder what this meant. Oh, if you dream about, let's say, this, what does it mean? So I think maybe I'll think of some more things that I think that are associated with this dream and I can tell you guys about it tomorrow. But the first thing I am gonna do is I'm gonna check and see that street name. I think, it would, like I said, this start with the R. I'm gonna go look at it and see if it's an actual street. And then if I can do like a Google Maps thing, maybe I'll do that. Like where you could drop the little man down and basically be at street level and see everything. Maybe I'll do that and see if I've actually been, like I said, on the street and if I recognize the area for my Google Maps search for today. So first thing I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna make sure I make notes in my, uh, what do you call that? has a long name, that book that I usually have up here um, that has like the refillable pages. I'll make the notes in there and then I'll remember because the things that I usually check is, okay, so I if I don't remember, I'll look. And if I do remember, it would just be, like I said, to double check what day is it for the walk, um, the date, and sometimes I tell you guys the time. So those are the three things that I check, and then I'm like, why don't you just look on your phone before you go into airplane mode, before you put it onto your ring stand, right? So I'm like, yeah, that way you don't have to walk all the way back in the house. It's almost one of those things where like you walk away from your door, you know you locked it, but you get to your car, if it's parked out the driveway, and uh, or out of the parking lot or whatever, and then you're trying to remember if you locked the door, and by the time you got to the car, you forget, and you're like, oh, let me go check, and you go back. Right, it, it was kind of, I think, um, something like that. So, I think 
it took me, honestly, it took me about, honestly, about a week <laughs> before I thought, just look on your phone and then go in airplane mode. Yeah. And plus, that was me being lazy and not wanting to walk back into the house. But then if I remembered that I did do my lemon juice and the salt, then I would go back in. And like I might as well because I go back into the house anyway. So, yes, very unique dream. Very specific place. Um, it would have been interesting if there had been maybe a street sign or something. Because I want to say there was one part where, well, no. No, that's the other unique thing about it. Now that I think about it, while we were taking um, our niece on the walk, getting to that point, knowing that that was a train station that was over to the side, it was kind of like a, a sidewalk, but not really kind of, so I don't remember there being a street that we had to cross even walking up to it. So this was a very big, huge area where even if it was multiple lots, it looked like it was all one lot. That's the other odd thing about it. Okay, so I have no clue um, where we lived in this dream. Um, no, I, I don't think it was New York. Mm -mm. So I, I don't know. But, like I said, if I have a flash of anything else, if there's anything else that's set out, I'll let you guys know. Because it's always kind of neat. You know, one, if you just remember your dreams. I know some people probably write them down. But all the detail that I remember, just all the people I remember seeing, all the different um, types of clothes. And then, like I guess it was rainy season, so it was winter wear. Um, the kids were walking around like with their families and stuff like that. And so I would have to say that this is the most people that was in my dream at one time to where there was literally about 100 people. Um, there's probably maybe one other dream I told you guys about where I told you there might have been that many people. And if I were to tell you there was about 150 people, I wouldn't be over-exaggerating. There were so many people. Like I said, this was all cemented and everything and um, a very, very big walking area. So yeah, all right, well, I'm going to tell you guys the numbers on here, and then I'm gonna go do my little research, and I'll make my notes, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So we have 40 minutes and 45 seconds, 2.71 for distance, 188 calories, and then also while this is stopping, I'll tell you guys, I went back to some of my shorts and videos, and I added like, you know, hashtag viral hashtag viral shorts, hashtag viral video. Um, you're like, you didn't do that in the beginning? No. Okay, so I am curious also to see if some of the numbers of my views went up, whether it's for a video or a short, and I'll let you guys know uh, tomorrow as well, what impact did that have? Okay, so I'll kind of monitor that throughout the day because of course I have to upload this video anyway, and I'll let you guys know. Um, some of them I think that's kind of already reached the max of viewing of what I think it's gonna get I might get like one or two more because it's gotten up to like over 13 or 1400 in a very short period. To, um, what I'm trying to say, time, time frame. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see today if that makes any bit of a difference. But anyways, you guys, I hope you guys have a great day. Again, like I said, happy birthday to everybody for April birthdays. Happy anniversary for everybody who has an anniversary in April. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.